hello welcome to this lesson in this lesson we will discuss another numerical integration which is called the simpsons 3h rule the simpsons 3h rule is used to find the area and of a given function such that the function is a third order okay or in other words the Simpsons 3H rule is used to find area of a third order polynomial function. Okay, so third order polynomial function, third order polynomial function is of the form. So we have third order polynomial function to be a naught plus a one x plus a two x squared plus a3 s cube okay so for a third order polynomial function we will have four points okay so we have a naught have a1 a2 uh, a3 okay so we have four points and you realize that we are getting what how many segment one two three okay so we have three segment and therefore the num the the number that you choose for n or the number that you assign for n should be a multiple of three okay then n should be what a multiple of three that's the number of segments and most of the times there can be a situation um, whenever you are given a question um you might not be given the value of n and when you get a question like that the convenience value of n should be 6. Okay, you can choose any value of n, and you have to make sure that the value of that you assign to n should be a multiple of 3. Okay, just like the Simpsons wanted rule, for Simpsons wanted rule, the value of n should be a multiple of 2. For trapezoidal, we can just choose any value, but for Simpsons 3h rule, the value of n should be a multiple of 3. Okay, now. The Simpsons wanted rule, the formula for finding Simpsons wanted rule for finding area using the Simpsons 38 rule is given by this formula. Okay, so 3 over 8 times h, h is the step size and is given by b minus a divided by n. Okay, so um, then so that will be 3 8 times h multiplied by the first term. Okay up to the last term okay up to the last term okay f of x n but for the middle term the middle term follows a certain pattern let's check it out you see we have the the middle term start from here up to here okay that is f of x n minus one these are the middle terms okay and for the first middle term is multiplying by 3 the next one is also multiplying by 3 the next one multiplying by 2 3 3 2 okay so the middle terms just like the simpsons one third rule and the trapezoidal rule for this is also this also follows a certain pattern okay that is the middle terms we have 3 3 2 3 3 2 3 3 2 okay because we have 3 f of x1 3 f of x2 2 f of x3 3 f of x4 3 f of x5 2 f of x6 in that order okay so simpsons 3 h rule the middle terms follow this pattern 3 3 2 don't forget the simpsons wanted rule the middle term follows a pattern 4 2 4 2 4 2 okay then the trapezoidal rule you for the trapezoidal we just multiply each of the middle term by 2 okay so take note don't forget now let's solve a problem we have two questions i'll solve one and then you can pause the video and try your hand on the other question now this is a question you have to use the simpsons 3a rule to approximate the following integrals so first one first question 
that's integral of this okay um so we let our f of s be our integrand okay then you calculate h that's the upper boundary okay minus the lower boundary all divided by n okay n was given in the question and this is one this means that you are going to start zero then you'll be adding one 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 to it until you get to six so zero or you start from zero you add one to zero so you get one two three four five six okay then you can you find the corresponding values of f of x okay so f of zero thus you substitute zero into this function okay so one over one plus zero squared that gives you one when x is equal to one you get one over one plus one squared that is half which is 0 0.5 so you make your substitutions and when you do that you obtain the following values now we can now apply the simpsons 3h rule so we have 3h our h is 1 so we substitute h here okay then the first term that's 1 okay then the last term the last term is also also here 0 0.027 that's what we have here now let's consider the middle terms let's pay attention to the middle terms so from the table here are the middle terms that's from a uh, starting from 1 up to 5 these are the middle terms so you multiply the first middle term by 3 the next middle term is what 3 3 2 that's the pattern okay so the next middle term also by 3 the next one by 2 they will come back to 3 3 okay 3 times 0 0.0588 plus the next one is also 3 the next one is supposed to be 2 but don't forget this is the last term so you don't multiply by 2 then when you simplify what is in the bracket you obtain this then when you expand bracket or by multiplying 2 by 1 uh, 3 out of 8 you get 1.3571 square unit so this is the approximate area under the curve okay so you can now pause the video and try your hand on the next question okay so this is the next question the second question okay so let's let's um evaluate this integral using simpson's 3a rule okay so um okay so uh we choose our integrand okay that's square root of one plus x to the power of four for this question n was not given but i said earlier that when you meet a question like that you you are advised to choose six okay that's the convenient um number of um that is the convenient number of um sections okay that you can choose or the convenient value that you can assign to n okay so we choose n to be equal to six six is a multiple of three okay so now um you you calculate the step size which is h that's the upper boundary minus the lower boundary divided by six and when you do that you get one out of six so you start from zero you'll be adding one out of six until you get to one so we have zero have one over six two over six which is one third three over six which is half four over six which is two thirds five over six then one okay so we find a corresponding value of what f of x okay so when x is equal to zero we get a square root of we get a square root of one plus zero to the power four and this gives us one that's what we have here when x is equal to one six that's one plus one over six all to the power four and you get zero one point zero 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 four okay so you substitute all the values each of the values of x into the function f of x to obtain the corresponding values of 
f of x okay so when you pick one third the corresponding value is 1.0062 half provides 1.0308 two thirds gives you 1.0943 5 over 6 gives you 1.2175 then 1 gives you 0. Point, sorry 1.414 to that square root of 2 because that will be 1 plus 1 to the power 4 that will be 1 to the power 4 is still 1 and you get square root of 2 okay so now using the simpsons 3h rule you see h was h was um 1 over 6 okay so we multiply 1 over 6 by 3 over 8 that's 3 8 okay 3 here 1 3 goes into 6 twice so 1 times 1 is 1 over 8 times 2 is 16 so that's why we obtain this 1 over 16 here okay so now the first term is 1 so we don't multiply by any value the last term is 1.4142 uh, we don't also multiply by any value okay we have it here now let's consider the middle values the middle value starts from here okay that is f of 1 over 6 up to f of 5 over 6 okay so we are solving using the simpsons 3a rule so we should follow the pattern 3 3 2 okay i mean the middle terms okay so we multiply 3 by 1.0004 we have it here we also multiply 3 by 1.0062 then the next one is 2 okay so we multiply 2 by 1.0308 okay then we come back to three one three times 1.0943 the next one three times 1.2175 the next one is supposed to be two times 1.4412 but don't forget 1.4142 is the last term so we don't multiply by any value okay so you maintain it so when you compute um what we have in the bracket when you compute everything you obtain 17.431 then you multiply by 1 over 16 you obtain 1.0894 square unit thank you so much